command you to lie, no. What are you doing? You're speaking to the spirit of the living God on the inside of you, and that body got to respond to the voice of the Creator. But if you're full of flesh, if you're full of that sinful mindset, your body ain't going to listen to you. Who is that talking? I don't even recognize you. Don't even hear the voice of Christ Jesus. Somebody was telling me that they got ready to rebuke the devil. And they were saying that, um, like I said, it, was in a, it, was in a, it seemed like they was in a dream and the bed was just spinning, just spinning. Shemma said, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. And she said, I heard you saying it. And when you said it, it seemed like you, how you was talking. Like when you said it, the devil just stopped. She said, but it took me a couple of times. I said, because see, he wanted to know were you saying it just because that's what you heard me say or were you saying it because you really believed it. And so she said, when I said it a couple of times, but it finally stopped, but it took me a while. Don't you know that the demonic spirits can discern whether or not you like him or not? Or you got his spirit on the inside of you? Don't spirits ain't for to listen to you and, you and, and, and your spirit man is full of demonic spirits. How can you come out of spirit to go anywhere? Because we're talking about Jesus. He cast out the spirits, right? He spoke to the fig tree in the wilderness. So in other words, if we're going to be like him, we're supposed to speak to things and we're supposed to see it manifest. We're supposed to be able to cast spirits out. We're supposed to be able to do exactly everything that we did, everything that we saw Jesus do in the word of God. Because the Bible says we can do what he did and more because he went to the Father. And saying that's why we got to strive to be like him. When we strive to be like him, we're going to walk in victory. Then you won't have so many Christians. Every time you turn around, they taking a thousand pills. They feeling depressed. They feeling down and out. You know why? Because we want to look like him from on the outside, but the inside ain't nothing like him. Come on now. We want to wear a Christian go with Jesus do t-shirt, but our hearts are jacked up. No love. Don't care about nobody but yourself. Come on. It's just me and my foe and that's it. Pray for you. but pray for your own self. I ain't telling you. Come on. That's how it is with some people. But you got to understand that you know what? You need to help one day. Somebody had to pray for you. Somebody had to encourage you. Somebody had to pour into you. So we just can't just look like a Christian. We wear the nice suits and the nice clothes. But our heart got to be right. Our heart, we got to walk in a place of love. Loving those that don't like you. I'm making my business. For those who don't like me, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make it my business. Hey, how you doing? You don't want to fellowship with me? I'm going to do something to, to fellowship with you because I'm going to show the love of Jesus. Somebody has to do it. Because if not, it'll be a bunch of division in the body. That's how the enemy can come in. Because we say that we serve Jesus, but ain't nobody looking like him. Come on. Because if we're going to be like him, we got to act like him. We got to talk like him. We got to let our insides look like him. We got to let the spirit, because he said, I have freed you from the power of sin. So in other words, when that spirit on the inside of you telling you are home, remember how they did you? Remember how they were talking about you? Remember how they put you down? Don't you fool with them. 